morning again. Um, thought this morning I'd just show you our um, desert sled and what we're doing with it. Um, we fitted our wrecked fire guard, radiator guard, oil cooler guard. Just held on with the cable tie at the moment because I've not took this um, panel off to secure it at the back. Um, we've got the belly pan on here. This one's powder coated in black. We've got the ventilation in the front. Um, TIG welded up all the joints. Um, three mil aluminium. And you can see inside there is clearance around the exhaust header and all the pipes and other components. Um, we've utilized the same mounting position on the lower part for um, uh, this, this strengthened bracket, um, which means it's, it's not going nowhere. Um, it's pretty rigid. Um, we've also fitted um, our adjustable um, foot pegs. Um, these can go 20 mil lower and 10 mil higher. Um, they're, they're, they're longer, a little bit wider, um, CNC machine from aluminium. Uh, where, where else are we gonna go? We have also um, made a adjustable um, mounting plate. You can fix pretty much anything to this. Uh, there's an amps hole pattern in the front for GPS or, or phone mounts, quad lock, that sort of thing. We're also working on an anti-vibration pad that's gonna bolt to the front of this, which will, which will stop the um, uh, reports of uh, expensive phones being damaged due to vibration on things like motorbikes. Um, that's to come shortly. Um, we're also working on a, a luggage mounting system where we're going to use a good old army ammo box, um, 50 cal ammo box on the side of the bike. That's going to be quite groovy. Um, and then to finish off, We've got the uh, tail tidy fitted. This reuses the OEM um, rear light cluster. Um, we've also got these uh, bars down the side, which helps strengthen the tail in comparison to some of the competitors' parts where they only really have this plate under here. So we, we've, we've tied the, the, the plate into the um, chassis as per the OEM one. 